Hello and welcome back to another video, my name is Jake the Genealogist, and in today's video we're going to be going over the family tree of the Shahs of Shirvan. Now, Shirvan is actually located roughly in modern day Azerbaijan slash Dagestan, as you can see on this map, uh, which is a region in southern Russia nowadays. Now, its borders roughly correlate with Azerbaijan's current border with Iran. Now, Shirvan, um, as we can see, was founded in 861 by Hafem I right here, who descended from the Mazyadid dynasty that actually governed the region of Armenia for many years. Now, he declared full independence and sovereignty from the Abbasid Caliphate. Um, now, all the um, rulers of Shirvan actually adopted the title Shirvan Shah, much like the title of Shahan Shah mentioned in the previous video. Now, by the rule of Hafem's son, Muhammad I, um, an actual junior branch split off from the main branch, uh, descended from Hafem's brother, and declared themselves to be the Shahs of Lazan. Um, but after several more kind of undocumented rulers um, descended from Hafem, uh, Muhammad II right here, um, the then Lazan Shah from the Yazidis, um, the junior branch actually took power and executed the last of the Hafemids, uniting both crowns to actually become the sole ruler. Now, after several other insignificant rulers right here, we got Yazid II right here. And um, he took command of Shirvan after the death of his brother. Now, um, um, his reign actually saw a significant Persianization of the region, as opposed to the more Islamic culture of the previous nine shahs, as is reflected in the name change of a lot of the future monarchs here. Um, now, after his death, a future dynasty called the Khazranid dynasty was formed with his eldest son, Manukher, right here, as its first ruler, reflecting the change in culture. Now, during the reign of his nephew, Fariburz, right here, the first, um, Shirvan actually reached the zenith in its prominence in regional power. And considered a fantastic diplomat, uh, Fariburz um, made the kingdom stretch all the way from northwestern Iran all the way to Dagestan slash Chechnya. Now, his son, right here, Afridun, the first um, actually maintained relations with other nearby kingdoms, uh, marrying his son and successor, right here, Manukhar the Great, to the daughter of King David the Builder of Georgia. And he later became known as the Martyr, after actually being killed battling in the city of Durbent, which is in the southernmost city in Russia. Um, now, going down to his grandson, um, Oxiton the first right here. He actually did something quite significant during his reign, as he moved the capital of Shirvan from Shamacha to Baku, which is actually still the capital of Azerbaijan to this day. So that's pretty cool. Now, after the death of Oxiton, there really weren't at all any significant rulers for around 180 years, if we look. Uh, most of these rulers were not very well documented. All the way to the fall of the Khazranid dynasty. Um, and um, the new dynasty the form after them was the Darbanids of the House of Durbent. Now, their first ruler was Ibrahim I right here, who became well known as being a bit of a trickster. Now, during his long reign, um, he actually became good friends and, I guess, part-time allies of Timur the Lame, founder of the Timurid Empire. Um, and he was actually able to somehow avoid paying tribute and actually being taken over forcefully by the empire. He just peacefully submitted. Now, um, after Timur actually died in 1405, he took advantage of the opportunity to actually declare Shirvan independent and conquer several nearby regions. He also boosted Shirvan's economy and was able to make Shirvan about the size it was under the reign of Faribos. Unfortunately, this good fortune and power only lasted for so long. And by 1500, under the reign of the newly crowned Safavid dynasty founder, Ibrahim I, Shirvan's ruler, Farouk Yassar I, was killed, and Shirvan had to swear Safavid suzerainty. Now, after 40 more years, um, with the last ruler being Shahruh, right here, um, Shirvan was actually fully absorbed into Persia, thus putting an end to one of the longest ruling Muslim dynasties in history. 
Now, the fact that it stayed verifiably in the same family, as you can see, like this, for 700 years is very, very, very impressive. And their legacy can still be felt in Azerbaijan to this day. Now, thank you guys for watching this video. It was a bit of a short one. And I'll be back with more content, hopefully next week. See you all later. Goodbye.